so we finally got a look at that new Borderlands movie that's been in the works, and I got to tell you, it's definitely making my brain do some extra overtime in the thinky think department. But before we get too deep into this, do me a favor and let me know which Borderlands game was your all-time favorite, and you all get internet points for mentioning Butt Stallion. In fact, just mentioning Butt Stallion will make the world get 25% more handsome. Now, I intended to get this video out a few days ago, but things being what they are, I had to postpone everything, so on a scale of relevancy, this may not be top news anymore. Nevertheless, I still feel compelled to share my thoughts. So, not long after the new live-action trailer dropped for Borderlands, I saw that the internet was doing its thing and making with the negative responses, and honestly, you know... I kind of have to agree, at least on a few things. So consider this a slight win, you miserable downvoting bastards. I know you're all eager to hear about the elephant in the room, and I will get to the elephant, I promise. But first, I want to go over some of what I liked about this trailer. If you want to hear about the negative stuff, then tune me out and go get a drink and come back in a few minutes and we'll be on that elephant. Dear Lord give me strength okay so i think first of all the look of the game seems pretty well captured there is a definite style to the borderlands games and while this doesn't have the you know one-to-one -one art style i didn't once get pandora confused with say the shire from the lord of the rings or something i also caught on to the slight absurdist sense of reality that the games have i mean let's face it most of the people crazy enough to be vault hunters on Pandora are actually probably a little bit crazy. So the comedy and the one-liners, yeah, I'm okay with it. it. It's fine. And as for the look of the characters, no, I haven't gotten to the elephant yet. Shut up. I think the costumes work, okay? I easily recognized each of the characters as soon as I saw them, and I didn't get that you know, that creepy, cheap cosplay vibe when costumes look like they were made by an adoring fan with a $20 budget. No no offense to any adoring fans with a budget of only $20. So, yeah, the overall aesthetic of the movie seems to be on point with the game. Now, as for the story that the movie is following, I honestly have no clue Tiny Tina didn't make her appearance until Borderlands 2, and based on some of the blurbs I've been reading online, somehow it seems that she's the daughter of Atlas. Of course, that's four-year-old information at this point, and there's been plenty of opportunity to change it. In fact, Tim Miller was brought in to do reshoots of the film because Eli Roth makes horror movies. And now we can talk about the elephant in the room. No, it's what you've all been waiting for. So here it is, your elephant, the cast. Look, I'm fine with actors stepping out of their comfort zone and taking on a project like this, but someone somewhere had to have an urge to raise their hand in one of the countless meetings and remind everyone that Lilith is in her 20s and that Patricia Tannis doesn't look much older. Now, again, I'm not saying that Jamie Lee Curtis can't play her. In fact, I think Jamie Lee Curtis is great, and I think she'll be great in the role. But did no one have the courage to point out how old these people are? I'm just, I'm just asking the question that we're all thinking. If this was a movie set after the events of the games in the future, then, you know, fine. I'm completely okay with the casting choices. Perfect. But if this is set anywhere near the start of the series or the middle of the series or even the end of the series, it's just, it isn't going to have the same vibe. And I can tell you right now that while a great amount of care has clearly gone into making this look like the Borderlands game on the big screen, this thing is definitely going to be taken out behind the shed and slaughtered for its casting choices. And, I, you know, I'm really sad about that. The last thing I want is for Jamie Lee Curtis to get so much heat over this that she decides to turn in her nerd card. I mean, we still want her to play Dr. Correa, don't we? Of course, 
who really knows how this is all going to turn out? I mean, if it has a better story than Borderlands 3, it could be phenomenal. Anything is better than the Calypso Twins and their idiocracy. So, now, it's time to do that thing that we always do, and it is turn the questions over to you. What are your thoughts on the new Borderlands live action trailer? And, dear Lord, I'm afraid to ask, but what are your thoughts on the casting choices? Who would you have picked? Head to the comment section down below and let's get some conversation going. Guys, that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more game news and updates, then be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to help us out directly, you can do so by becoming a member of the Patreon. There's links to all of that as well as my socials in the linkity link place down below. As always, have an amazing day, everyone. Keep being awesome. And I will see you all in the next video.